Hi all. Um, first thing I'd like to do uh, is to thank all my new subscribers. I do appreciate them subscribing very much so and their support. And uh, I hope I can be worthy of and live up to your subscription. Um, but I basically want to make a small announcement here that uh, <clears throat> in the future I probably will almost, almost exclusively be talking about men's issues, uh, men going their own ways issues. Um, and foregoing talking about, say, politics, which in the past I've talked about a lot, um, in large measure because I think talking about politics is as interesting as it can be is a waste of time. Uh, but also because I think, you know, as an MRA and as a guy who's aware of the stuff, you know, I think we all have bigger fish to fry. Having said that, I haven't really changed my political views over the last couple of years, or indeed most of my life. I mean, I, I am, I guess, in the day what you describe as libertarian. <sighs> I think we should have a much, much smaller government, specifically, I guess, I'm a minarchist. I don't think we should have a welfare system. I also don't think we should be participating in immoral and uh, costly wars overseas and so on and so forth. So, yes, I still fit the bill. Having said that, it's, you know, I think distraction to talk about politics because I don't think you get a whole lot done uh, when you talk about politics, especially on the internet. <clears throat> and I have no illusions that I'm getting things done when I talk about men's issues, but at least uh, I'm making people aware. Because not everyone is aware. And as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, there are a lot of guys, men, who are basically afraid to either recognize the truth or speak the truth. Or, um, well, speak it. <laughs> Speak the truth in a, in a manner that's loud enough that other people might hear it. Um, so, yeah, that that's basically what I wanted to say. That uh, I haven't changed my political views. Um, you know, call me a classical liberal or libertarian or, or whatever. Um, but uh, I uh, I don't think it's as constructive as concentrating on these men's issues, which uh, <clears throat> cause, because we don't have an I don't think we have enough. <laughs> To, qu to quote, this is uh, to quote from uh, the game I've talked about quite a bit, Mass Effect. Uh, there's a scene in it um, where, well, anyway, he, one of the uh, Shepherd, the main, the protagonist, tells him, uh, tells uh, this soldier who wants to get, sacrifice his life. Well, he said, you know, we don't have enough on our side to take one for the team. And I think, in a way, uh, talking about politics, as I said, as interesting as it is, it is kind of taking it's taking one for the team. I, I, I think we need to work in unison in a cooperative manner, and uh, the, the, talking about politics, as, as interesting as it can be, I think uh, brings us away from that goal, because inevitably there are going to be differences, particularly political and religious, amongst uh, MRA men, um, because we're all individuals at the end of the day, um, despite attempts to paint us as a monolithic uh, group. Um, you know, uh, and I think those differences, generally speaking, are fairly minuscule, and maybe they're not in some cases, but um, getting past that uh, is, uh, is an important uh, issue, um, and, and I think the way to do that is really to just well, concentrate specifically on the issue of men's rights. Where um, there's an intersection of men's rights issues and politics, it, it's probably pretty important. And many people have stated this, yes, leftist, statist, uh, pseudo-Marxist, whatever you want to call it, uh, <laughs> political de devotees tend to favor feminism and uh, state-initiated violence much more so than... Uh, than the right, although, well, like I said, I, I don't really identify with the right or the left, but that's the whole point, is that I think the po political element to these things is, um, is certainly there and what should be talked about, but um, I think I'm done affiliating with any particular party or I'm, I want to really concentrate on the men's rights issues. If something else comes up that's a particular interest, I might, uh, I might talk about it, but having said that, yeah, so I think we really... Whatever differences we have, they're pretty small and minuscule. I think all of us need to uh, 
unite around this central issue. And that issue being that uh, we're getting screwed. We're be getting screwed pretty much because we were born with the dick and balls. Um, and uh, and I think the, the difference, and I want to emphasize this in a final note, the difference, at least in my experience, between you know, MRAs and what have you, is that there are very, very few um, men going in their own way who want special privileges for being a man. They actually do want equality. They actually are looking for egalitarianism, as opposed to special privileges enabled by the state. Um, the vast majority of MRAs say on their channels, they don't censor people. I mean, some do, because it's just maybe it's become such an, you know, they're inundated with junk, from mostly from feminists and what have you. I've never censored anyone, even though I've gotten pretty disgusting comments directed towards me of all manner. Uh, I, I can't imagine I ever would, unless it got really out of hand. Because um, I don't believe in censorship, and I do believe in freedom of speech. Um, well, there we go with hate speech and what have you, and that, that is a political issue, and maybe I'll touch on that one day, uh, but, um, yeah, that's basically what I, what, what I wanted to say. Um, well, I personally, I want to try to move beyond politics in the sense that I'm not going to be talking about politics as a central issue anymore, and I really want to concentrate on uh, men's issues, because I think it supersedes these other issues, and uh, we as men will... Uh, We'll lose track of, of what the goal is and should be if we uh, get lost um, in the uh, the quagmire of politics. Because, uh, as I said, as interesting as it is, it's, it's, it's not our pr most pressing concern. Our most pressing concern, to reemphasize it again, is the fact that we've been fucked and screwed over because we weren't born with the right genitalia, amongst many other uh, secondary sexual characteristics. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to say in this video. And uh, thank you once again to all the new subscribers, and I will try to live up to your confidence and, um, and the faith you put in me. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you soon.